Kings phenom Quentin Byfield, fresh off signing a five-year deal to stay with the Kings. Uh, 6.25 is the AAV. Certainly well worth it for the ceiling on this guy, which uh, sky's the limit, really. And we are so happy to have him joining us right now. Back home in Ontario, we were joking, you kind of had the gamer set up there, so we know you're locked in for this interview. Uh, how's your summer going, and how relieved are you to have this behind you? Yeah, um, first off, thanks for having me. But um, yeah, no, I'm in the gaming room, gaming <laughs> stuff, so um, I'm locked in for this interview and ready to go. But um, no, I, I'm back home uh, with my parents, and uh, it's been it's been awesome here. And uh, nothing nothing too crazy for my summer, just the typical golf, uh, skating, working out, really. You know, if you need to add the Oculus or anything like that, like a cool pair of, you know, game goggles, Q, don't don't hesitate. If you really just want to get full character on this, we're we're fine. Stu, big gamer over here. <laughs> you know, not in the least. Does anybody remember oh, yeah. Atari Pong? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know that one, no. Oh boy. Well, I've had you on before, um, Q. What's you and uh, some of the guys have uh what's what's the preferred game? What's your platform again? I forget. Um, yeah, so we, we play, well, we both play on PS5 and uh, Xbox, but uh, our game this this year uh, was Call of Duty and FIFA, so oh, uh, right we had on. a lot of on that. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, for people who are fans of NHL Network, you know now that you can come here for gaming content That's as right. well. Uh, what was the process like for you and your camp, though? Was You know, these can be painful negotiations. They can be easy. Where would you, uh, how would you quantify the whole process of signing what really amounts to your first big deal? Yeah, um, it, it, you know, I, I didn't really know what to expect to go into it. It's obviously, you know, my first time being through a situation. But, um, you know, me, like our team and the Kings, you know, really want to get the deal done and, uh, you know, be there long term. And, um, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to Dave Gagne for working it out for me. But, um, you know, both sides really thought this was the best deal for us to move forward. And, um, you know, we're both really happy with it, and uh, I'm excited to be a king. Yeah, and a big reason for that, you know, 55 points in your platform year. Taking you back two years in time, though, Q, remember you kind of split the season. I don't think it was till later that you were kind of a full-time line mate with Kopitar and Kempe. Now, last year, again, your platform year, I think you spent substantially all of the year with those two other athletes. My question is, does that make a big difference just in terms of the kind of year you had this year, that continuity with, with two familiar line mates throughout most of the year? Yeah, um, you know, playing with, you know, obviously Kopi and, uh, you know, Juice as well. Um, you know, they're two great players. And, um, you know, playing with Kopi, he, he takes all the defensive responsibility and, you know, just allows you to play your game. And, um, you know, he's been... You know, playing at such a high level for so long, so it's it's so easy to play with him. And then, um, you know, Kempe as well. You know, he's um, you know unreal player. I just know I just have to get him in the puck, and he's going to find the back of the net. So um, it was super easy to play with those guys. And um, just coming into this year, knowing that I'll be back with them, uh, there's some familiarity and you know comfort level to it as well. Yeah, and of course the Kings made a big splash earlier. It was right in the middle of the Stanley Cup final uh, when they did the trade that sent Pierre Luc Dubois out to Washington. You got a couple pieces back in return, but but things are are mostly the same for this club. But certainly will look a lot different than last season. What are your thoughts on the moves? How much do you pay attention to that stuff? And uh, and what excites you about the upcoming year? Yeah, um, you know I think there's been you know a lot of moves uh, you know that they've done so far, but. Um, you know, super excited. You know, I think we've brought in a lot of, you know, key pieces. Um, you know, a lot of players that, you know, have gone on to play. Um, you know, obviously, Darcy Kemper, you know, he's won a Stanley Cup. So, um, I think we brought in a lot of good players and I'm um, excited for the season. And then, obviously, bringing uh, Warren Fogel as well. Um, you know, I had the opportunity to work out with him for, you know, a few years now. So, I'm um, just getting closer with him and uh, we're excited to be teammates now. And speaking of the new look of your team, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about yeah. the actual new look, right? I mean, you got some new threads, a uh, shiny new look that's kind of a new take on the old logo of, of, of sorts. And you were the model for a lot of these. I remember when they <laughs> came out, uh, they look awesome. What were your thoughts on this? Yeah, um, you know, I think we, we took those, a couple of us took those photos during, you know, just before playoffs. And um, my first reaction was, no, I love them. Like they, they're unbelievable. I feel like we have, um, you know, a lot of great history and great logos, um, and good colorway as well to put uh, together a really nice jersey. And um, you know, I think like they just did that. You know, I, I feel like we had those jerseys for a while now, and they kind of got stale. Then uh, you know, they came out with the whole new logo, whole new colorways, and everything. And the 
you know, the old Red Shell logo as well. So I think they did a great job there. Looks very similar to uh, the King's colors I wore back in the early 2000s. They say fashion. It's like every two decades, you start to recycle this stuff and bring it back again. So um, it does. It looks super sharp. We were talking, uh, Quentin, before we came on camera. You've been selected to be part of the, you're making the NHL's media tour this year. Um, give our fans a, a chance of just kind of a glimpse of what does that look like? Where are you going to be? Um, How does that affect your summer? And where can folks connect with you? Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know too much on, uh, you know, what I got to do for that or anything like that. But um, I, I know it's, I think, September 9th it starts, and that's in Vegas. So uh, I'm going to go head back early to L.A., um, you know, figure out my whole housing situation, get all settled in, then, um, you know, go down there and uh, be able to join that. So I'm super excited to do that for my first time. And, um, you know, a lot of top players are there, and, you know, just get to meet those guys as well. You know, Quentin, we saw you score one of the prettiest goals of oh, the gosh. season last year. I know we're going to show it at least a couple times right now, too. But <laughs> but we talked to players a lot. Here it is. Uh, we talked to players a lot whoop, about things they work on in the offseason. And certainly when you go to the likes of, you know, Connor McDavid, one year he said he wanted to work on scoring goals, and then he scored 60-plus or whatever. And then another year they work on other things. Were you trying to work on your goal scoring this year? Or what what do we expect going into next season? I mean, are we going to see more of that in the, the Arsenal? <laughs> I don't know if I can promise that. I, uh, <laughs> I kind of blacked out in that situation. There. I, don't know <laughs> blacked that, out. Uh, I, I don't know how that worked out. So, um, <laughs> no, but this, this off seasons, um, you know, the focus last year was just being able to, you know, take more shots, be more aggressive um, at that point. I think that's still the focus. Um, just being able to, I feel like a lot of my goals uh, last year were from being close around the net and, um, you know, just feeling confident in my shot. I know that I have a good shot. I've been using it for a while and um, just be able to take that more and, uh, you know, score more goals from outside of that area. Quentin, um, you know, outside of your specific season and what you hope to add to your game, just looking at, you know, the summer's worth of transactions to this point, um, for Kings fans, what are your feelings about the team? How have guys? How have you guys improved? What's it? What's it look like? Uh, the 24-25 season for your Kings. Yeah, um, you know I'm I'm very excited. I think um, you know I mentioned before bringing Darcy Kemper, um, you know won the Stanley Cup, and you know he's that guy that can you know anchor down the back end there. So uh, I'm very excited about that move. Um, you know bringing an experienced defenseman, um, you know play with some of our younger guys like Spence and Clark. So. Uh, you know, I think that's a really good move. And then um, bringing in Fogel, Janelle, you know, those guys bring some speed and physicality, you know, up front. So uh, I think there's a lot of good things that we've done over the offseason. Um, you know, <laughs> I guess I am a Kings fan, but, um, you, know, I think, <laughs> uh, you know, I think they should be excited. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be a part of the team. Um, you know, I think they look real good. Uh, I think we look real good. And, I'm excited to get it going. You guys have certainly been in the mix the last few years in that yeah. Pacific, that top three. Although, each of the last three years, it, it always ends at the hands of the Oilers. Now, this year, they end up going all the way to a Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. Did you watch that at all? Do you try to turn off the playoffs once you guys are out? Or do you find value in, in watching how the team that beats you goes on to perform? Yeah, um, no, it's a little bittersweet. Like, um, I said before, like, I, I worked out with a lot of the guys on that team. So, you know, obviously you want them to succeed. But then, you know, on the other side, uh, you know, they just knocked you out three straight years. So it's it's kind of hard to root for them as well. But, um, you know, I, I'm a big hockey fan and, uh, you know, same with my family here. So when, when I got back home, um, you know, every playoff game, you know, we turned that on, tuned in and watched. And, um, you know, I was like a little kid again, uh, you know, when it was tied 3-3, game seven, Stanley Cup final. Uh, I remember coming home at like four o'clock and just sitting on the couch waiting for the game. So, uh, no, I was excited and ready for those playoff games. It really was something special. I mean, they, they came yeah. this close, the Florida Panthers, yeah. to get in reverse swept, which is something that has yeah. only ever happened once. So I think you're, it's, it's nice to hear that, you know, stars, they're just like us. We all watch <laughs> because we're fans of the game first and foremost. But hopefully we'll see you guys have your own deep cup run here next year. We'll see how it all shakes out. Thank you so much for the time and congrats on the new deal. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for having me.